on guys headed down to the beach this morning and I'm gonna do a little fishing uh, surf perch sure that's what I'm gonna try for and then I don't know what else swims up in the surf here on the Oregon coast which is where I'm at but just gonna go down and do a little surf fishing got some insulated waders on um, it is day number six of vacation and I still have yet to catch a fish now part of the reason for that is I haven't been trying as hard as I usually do because it is Christmas vacation in fact today's December 26th um, but uh, the trip is winding down now and I want to catch catch some so it's a beautiful morning on the beach though and see what happens Wow it's very clear a lot of times it's kind of foggy and misty out here but it's a very nice morning this morning what I'm using this morning is basically just like a little Carolina rig I have a a sinker on a little sliding sinker with a swivel very light leader I think it's a an eight pound six or eight pound leader and then a uh, just a small little grub on a little hook there the last time I came to Oregon I caught some surf perch on this so we'll see There's a bird out there. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe he's hunting for something. Cause she's right in the, the right in the waves. Oh shoot! I just had one right there. That was the first bite of the day. Got one. Surf perch. Let's see if I can land him. Nice. Okay, I did something different that time. I thought I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hardly retrieve this. I'm just gonna let it like drift around in the current. Um, because I, I wasn't getting anything. But I know they're out there. And the first cast I started to do that, that I started to just like I, I hard I was hardly retrieving it at all, just letting the current take it. I catch one, the very first cast. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Very cool red tail surf perch. What the heck? I just caught a shrimp. Look at that. My the hook of my grub hooked a little shrimp. Huh. That is crazy. Those shrimp must be what those, uh, these must be like some sort of sand shrimp. And that must be what those surf perch eat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, keep that shrimp on my, uh, on my grub there. And see if I catch one. Let's try it. Alright guys, so there's my new bait. For the next couple of casts. Can't really cast it out there that hard. Dang. Lost the shrimp. This video is brought to you by Man Outfit. All right. Fish, fresh out of the ocean. About the size of a crappie or so. You know what, I'm gonna try something. People eat fish eyes sometimes. So I think I'm just gonna try to like cut some of these fins off and uh, and gut him, and then cook the fish whole. Found, find a little bit deeper pool here, make sure all the sand is off the, off the fish. Excellent. There we go, let's try this. guys very excited because I get to try my new burner again I used it once before if you follow my channel and I boiled up some water and cooked a crab in it but I've never cooked up a fish yet you can see there it's a um, it folds out and makes a nice little stove top and this is the gas the little canister of propane 
and uh, you gotta make sure this is nice and stable. It actually has little like claws on it that can bite into the wood, so that's nice. Makes it nice and stable. It comes with this little like aluminum sheet that folds out. And you wanna put that around it so that uh, it keeps the heat in better on windy days. It's not super, it's actually not windy at all out here. There's a small breeze. I'm gonna do that just to make sure I keep the heat in. Get my frying pan out here. Got this little cook set up, which is also new. And it fits in my backpack, which is so nice. And I can keep my butter and my lemon and everything else all, and the salt, pepper, all in one spot. All right, so just have my little frying pan here. This little handle attaches on. So I'm all ready with that. Set that right there. And then I just turn on the gas. Till I hear it. Just like that, I have flame. Turn it up just a little bit. I'm on this rock, it's gonna be hard with this windshield here. It's not windy, so I'm not gonna worry about using it, but you can see a little flame going there. Set my frying pan right on top. Cool. And just gonna take some butter. Oh yeah, it's very warm. I'm actually gonna turn it down just a little bit. Yeah. Look at the seagull right here, just begging. Begging a bunch of them. <laughs> I'm just gonna add my fish. <laughs> Frying pan's a little bit small for this, but it fits in my backpack and that's what's important right now. fresh lemon to it. Now we're cooking. Add some salt to the outside. And some salt to the inside of the fish. Flip it over. Oh, look at that. As it shrinks, it kind of fits in the pan better. Salt to this baby. Mm. And some fresh lemon to this side. Now we're cooking. Cavender's seasoning here, and I, just, I really like it. I've come to like it a lot. I'm gonna add it to my fish. I'm starting to add it to everything now. Very good. That top part looks done there. Mmm. Oh, that is really good.
All right, I gotta turn off my grill. Fresh fish right there. I'm not kidding you, this tastes amazing. Right out of the ocean. Fishing was a little slow this morning, but I'm glad I at least caught this one. All right, so I'm gonna try something here. I kept the head of the fish on. Now, first of all, we're gonna try the cheek. There's just this little nugget of cheek meat. Now, this fish is very small, so the cheek meat itself is quite small. But, mmm, that is really good. Now, should we try, should we try the eyeball? Let's try the eyeball. Ooh, I don't know about that. So we have fish eye for the first time. Yeah, I don't recommend that. <laughs> I'll let uh, I'll let other fishermen eat the fish eye. Whew. Need a drink. All right, guys, watch this. Watch this seagull here. This this seagull isn't. Oh, he's kind of behind the. <laughs> he's hiding. Um, he just caught. I, I'm throwing him the fish bones, and he's catching them out of the air. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Hey, you. Hey, come here. Come on. All right. Let's see if he'll do it on camera. Let's throw it right to him. <laughs> All right, so that fish was good, but it was kind of small and wasn't enough. So I uh, brought out here with me Actually, I carry this. I, ca I usually keep this like in the vehicle, or um, sometimes I just carry it in my pack, just in case I can't catch a fish when I'm out, which has happened several times this trip. But I keep some stag chili out here with me, and I've never cooked up chili over this burner. So let's see how it does there. Get it going. I kind of turn this back over. Uh oh, we might be getting low on fuel. Oh, I can see it steaming. Mmm, that is good. Turn off my burner. It takes, from the time I turn it off to when it actually shuts off, it can be like up to 20 seconds because it's like it's taking time for the propane to go like finish on this cord here. So it's still not shut off yet. So I've learned with this thing, you want to shut it off early. Now I see it's all the way off and it's still burning. This thing, this setup is really, really cool though. I highly recommend it if you're a fisherman who likes to cook while you're out. Well guys, great day out here. Fishing was a little slow this morning. A little bit slow. Only had uh, two bites, caught one. Still a beautiful morning. Sun's coming out. I love this little um, portable gas burner here. So nice, fits right in my backpack and carry it anywhere with all my fishing stuff. Highly recommend it. I just picked mine one up for, um, at Sportsman's Warehouse. You can probably get them at Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops or anywhere. I'll put a link to it in the description. You can order them on Amazon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for tagging along in this adventure. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, dude. Seagull's become my little buddy here. You want a fish head? Let's see if he'll take it out of my hand. Fish head? Don't be shy. That's all right. Just right there. <laughs>